Alright, so Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania is coming out in a couple weeks, and here's everything we know about Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania. So Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania will be releasing on February 17th. It will be the third Ant-Man movie, and it will be the start of Phase 5 of the MCU. It will once again be directed by Peyton Reed, who has directed the past two Ant-Man movies. And this is weirdly kind of mind-blowing, because this will be only the second MCU trilogy to have the same director for all three movies, with Spider-Man being the first about a year ago when Spider-Man No Way Home came out. It's really crazy how a lot of the MCU trilogies have a bunch of director swaps, like especially with Thor, not counting Thor Love and Thunder, in the Thor trilogy, all the movies have different directors. And something to note about this being the third movie in the trilogy is that all the MCU third movies are just dark and sad for the characters, so something will go down this movie with Ant-Man, and we even got a tease of that in the second trailer where he fights Kang. When it comes to returning characters, we have Paul Rudd as Ant-Man, Evangeline Lilly as the Wasp, Michael Douglas as Hank Pym, and Michelle Pfeiffer will return as Janet Van Dyne, which we saw a little bit of at the end of Ant-Man the Wasp, but she will have a way bigger role in this movie that I will talk about more in a bit. Randall Park will return to Jimmy Woo, who we last saw in WandaVision. Also, a smaller character that will be returning is Greg Turkington as Dale, who is the manager of that Baskin Robbins Scott worked at for a bit in the first Ant-Man movie. And as we saw in the trailer, he will make Scott the employee of the century at Baskin Robbins. And I am legit very curious how Scott ended up working back there again, and even how much time will pass throughout this movie, since later on in the trailer we see Scott publishing a book and walking the red carpet implying fame and money but a lot of this movie will take place in the quantum realm so yeah maybe i'm diving into this a little too much but i am legit curious about this so character wise cassie lang will return but played by a different actress that being katherine newton cassie was previously played by kid actor abby ryder forston when cassie was still a kid but then because of time jumps and crap in Avengers Endgame. Cassie was played by an older actor, that being Emma Furman, but then was recast for Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania of Catherine Newton. As to why, no real reason was ever really given, but I guess there probably was something behind the scenes. I don't know if Emma Furman would have been a good and or better Cassie Lang. She didn't really have much to do in Avengers Endgame, and I haven't seen her in anything outside of that, but I am personally excited about Catherine Newton because I have seen her in a couple things before, and I think she's a pretty good actress. And also, Cassie will have a way bigger role in this movie, and will even get her own suit and become the superhero stature and so for cassie returning we have the character returning but not the actor and with this next one it's the opposite we have the actor but not the character david desmokin who previously played kurt will be coming back but not to play kurt but a character named veb who is actually an original character and not a character from the comics, which is very interesting. As to just overall of Scott's friend group, we know that Clifford Joseph Harris Jr., also known as T.I., who played Dave, will not be returning because of some legal stuff that happened a couple years ago. But as to Michael Pena, who played Louise, I think him and David Dasmakin will appear for a little bit at the beginning of the movie, just not as much as they have appeared in the other two movies, which is honestly a bummer. They are definitely like one of the best parts of the anime movies, but I guess small sacrifice to pay for the bigger scale that this movie will have. And also, Judy Greer, who played Cassie, Link's mom has stated a couple years ago that she hasn't been contacted to return for Ant-Man 3 and to be honest I doubt anyone thought much of it and while she has not been confirmed to be returning still nothing really was said because she wasn't like a super major character and even probably would have assumed that she would just show for a bit but then recently a clip from the movie was released you know I promised your mom that you would only use this stuff when one of us was around it's really dangerous tech. I know, it's dangerous. What if the cops took it from you, huh? What if you lost it? I didn't lose the suit. You have a suit? Wait, you have a suit? I know how to take care of myself, okay? Trust me, I'm pretty good at it by now. Ouch. Look, I didn't mean it like that, I'm no, sorry. That's okay, it's all right. I get it. I just think you should get to have a normal life. Dad, a guy dressed like a bee tried to kill me in my room when I was six. I've never had a normal life. How about some music? And in that moment, all I could think was how did the Hulk turn me into a baby? Will I be a baby forever? Am I the Hulk's baby? Dad, are you listening to your own book? But I was ready for it. Hmm? And in this clip, they imply that she died, which probably will have big impact on Cassie, and especially how we see her in the prison cell for a bit in the trailer. So yeah, I will even go as far as say this could have even happened during the blip and she was left all alone. And as for Paxton, played by Bobby Cannavale, I imagine he kind of just left after her death, and he also hasn't been confirmed to show up in the movie, but maybe he might show up for a bit at the beginning or something. And one new character that we will see in this movie is a character called Lord Kryler, who will be played by Bill Murray, and he will be a big deal in the Quantum Realm. And a very interesting fun fact about this character is he, for starters, is an Ant-Man-related character, 
and has literally appeared once in the comics and that was back in 1972 and then Incredible Hulk 156. But now moving to the villain of the movie who will be Kang the Conqueror played by Jonathan Majors who we saw before in the Loki season 1 finale but this will be a very different version of Kang and this is so interesting because already Kang just seems like an insanely too powerful villain for Ant-Man but he also is the big bad of the MCU multiverse saga the next Thanos and I am beyond interested how this movie will handle Kang and how his and Ant-Man's rivalry will be and also how this movie overall will impact the rest of the multiverse saga. I partially think of it how Thor Ragnarok led into Avengers Infinity War but the difference is that Thor Ragnarok came out a couple months before Avengers Infinity War while Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania will come out like over two years before the Kang Dynasty. And a quick little summary on Kang the Conqueror, he's a time traveling character who has many different past and future selves, he's super intelligent, has super advanced technology and he also has relations to Reed Richards aka Mr. Fantastic and the MCU is introducing the Fantastic for, so I'm curious if there will be any connections there. We will also see Modok, which is a character I personally always wanted to see in live action and I really wanted to see how they would handle his look and so far we got this really cool armored look and an actual comic accurate look which looks so weird and he is heavily rumored to be played by Corey Stahl who played Yellowjack in the first Ant-Man and even that face look we got of Modok in the trailer does somewhat resemble him and we did get a Yellow Jacket tease in Loki so it might actually be and he is apparently going to play the same character like after what happened to him in the first ant-man it looks like his body got messed up and ended up here in the quantum realm which is extremely different from more like in the comics ant-man the wasp quantumania will overall be a very different movie than the past two ant-man movies it will be way bigger scale and have a way bigger impact on the mcu it will mostly take place in the quantum realm which is something that has been talked about a lot in the past ant-man movies and even some avengers movies and really just got minor glimpses of it but in this movie we will be like full on exploring it and we will meet a lot of different creatures that live in the quantum realm as we already saw a little bit in the trailer and we will see a lot of like sick doctor strange looking visuals in this movie like we already got a glimpse of some of them in the trailer and janet will have a big role in this movie and have a lot to say about the quantum realm as she did spend 29 years in there and as we saw a little bit in the trailer she seems to know a lot about the place and a lot about kang and there is definitely going to be some secret paths between them and the way the trailers make it look it looks like ant-man gets transported there by accident but considering kang will need ant-man for something in the movie it almost seems like kang did actually bring him there himself 